by September of that year, a lump had developed on the outside of my left arm that was now half the size of a golf ball. I'm getting ready for spring training in 1981. And the next thing you know, um, I'm traded in spring training with two days left to the San Diego Padres. But you know what was really cool? It was there that I met my roommate, Byron Ballard. And Byron uh, became the guy in my life that challenged me to read the Bible. August 27th, 1981, my wife and I were baptized by Roy Wheeler. It was, of all places in Amarillo, Texas, the most beautiful place in the universe for Jan and I, and the most amazing experience of our life uh, that began a journey that that has been a very interesting journey, to say the least. Getting to the big leagues and, and now being a major league ball player, experiencing an all-star game in the World Series, and, and then getting traded from the San Diego Padres, which were a last place team, to the first place Giants, and you know, and going into postseason play in 87 against the Cardinals and pitching the two best games of my life. And I thought, man, 1988 is going to be my year. We're sitting there, and the doctors on the outside of the room start flipping the films under the lights to examine them. And all of a sudden, we heard one of the guys say, man, this is a tumor. And my heart went into my throat. I said, look, I can't sit back and forget about, you know, at least attempting to come back. I don't want to live the rest of my life wondering. I went to the bullpen and there was a standing ovation. I was like, wait a minute, man, I'm just Dave Dravecki. And then I get out to the mound and I'm just overwhelmed by all these things that are happening. And, and the game starts and I complete eight innings. Um, in this victory against the Cincinnati Reds. It's a couple hours before the game, sitting there talking with Bob Nepper over uh, um, pregame lunch, and we start talking about the comeback and how awesome it was and this incredible miracle. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there and he looks at me and he goes, I hate to burst your bubble, man, but it's not the miracle of the comeback here that's so important. He said, it's the miracle of salvation. It's the day you met Jesus that is so important in all of this. And what God has done is given you a platform through baseball to share his love with those who hurt. And five hours later, I'm laying on the ground with a broken arm. And all I could hear were Bob Nepper's words. The cancer reoccurred. Um, there were more surgeries. With each surgery, there were less and less margin to be able to remove anything, because now they were down to bone. And I felt so much pressure to be an example for others. I entered into an identity crisis. I went into clinical depression. Then I became a very angry man because I did not know how to deal with these emotions that I had pushed and pushed and pushed. It was horrible. As a result, of some really good friends who loved me in spite of my behavior, God began to heal. And it's hard even to admit those things, but there's been great healing in being able to expose the lies of my life, the hiddenness of my life. Because in that freedom, I've come face to face with true grace. That love that comes even on my worst day.
the most loving, the most gracious, the most understanding, the most encouraging, the most forgiving person in the universe and in my life.